Okay, today we're going to talk about experimental probability of compound events. This is a time when you actually do an experiment to figure it out. So, say you were flipping a coin and rolling a number cube. One of the easiest ways is to make a chart, such as the one we have here. And I would just fill in, say I got a heads and a one, I would just put a tally mark there. Maybe it's a tails and a three, put a mark there. Heads and four, mark there. Tails and six, mark there. So basically you would just go through and make all the marks as you get each one. Maybe you got three of those heads and threes. Maybe you got two heads and sixes, one of those. But I never got a tails and fours. So the probability of getting a heads and a one would be one out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One out of 16, if I counted that right. The probability of a heads and a three, let's do heads and five, would be equal to one out of 16. The probability of heads and a six would be two out of 16, or one out of eight. So it's really ba pretty basic. You just wanna make some kind of way to organize your list of all the possible outcomes and then keep a tally of them as you do the experiment.